craftsmanship, that feeling that somebody has trained and dedicated and, and is passionate about making the object that you're buying, that you're going to pour your energy and emotion into. And I think musical instruments really hold that tradition very strongly, that they've got a lot of emotion kind of bedded into them. And then the craftsman has got a lot of integrity and, and intention that this thing is going to be able to facilitate somebody's emotional kind of journey or experience for an audience. So th I think the seaboard bridges a lot of that. For most people, 0.1 millimeter is going to be nothing. But here in Roy, when we're designing Grand Seaboard, me and my team takes 0.1 millimeter pretty seriously. It's really important for the 0.1 millimeter precision when you're designing the hardware of the Grand Seaboard. 0.1 is achievable by hands. So 0.1 means, as a designer for me, it's power of hands. Handcraft it seems like old passion sometimes because machines can do everything. But there is still some deep details which only achievable by hands. Seaboard is going to be assembled in Rolly office because it's not just about hand assembled, it's hand assembled by people who are really interested in seaboard. Like your son or daughter, you may extremely high extra care about them. I think the design philosophy behind it is that it's, it's coming from a tradition of craft and skill and understanding human interaction with an object. To be able to have something that's designed on a computer and then I'd go out into the back and machine it using my traditional skills and experience out of wood, fashion it, get it up, and so it would look like a made from aluminium, made from the computers, but would also have that feeling of handcrafted. And I think the seaboard kind of links those, those ideas, because it, although it looks sleek and modern, it's actually a lot of craft has gone into it.